Hey guys, Fate here. Um, yeah, I've been using Crunchyroll lately, and turns out that Crunchyroll has added a, a nice little, quote unquote, nice little ad blocker uh, script to their site lately. Uh, popping up this stupid ad blocker message. Um, if I could just start it here. And for the sake of your sanity, I've muted this tab so you don't have to hear this stupid ass message. So that, yeah, when you start this video, you'll see this stupid ad blocker message. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm blocking it. You're blocking ads, blah, blah, blah. You should not unblock them, blah, 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 and so forth. I'm going to show you a way to prevent this script from running so that you could just watch your anime in peace. So I'm going to get started here. So first off, we're going to see what this element is being referenced to by right-clicking on uh, the element here and selecting Inspect Element. So after you've done that, you'll see that this block uh, references this div here um, with an ID called ad blocker message. What we want to do is we want to find the script that um, adds to this ad blocker message and runs the script that runs this video automatically. So we're going to do a find. Um, if this is looking a little small, I suggest that you uh, set this video to full screen and set it to like the best resolution that you can so it doesn't look too pixelated. So going back to the video here. We're going to look for this ID called ad blocker message and it turns out that there are three references to this block here. Um, primarily we want to look for the JavaScript that contains this, um, this element. And it turns out it's this uh, JavaScript here called ad blocker underscore message underscore strategy dot js. Now I will show you how to block this particular script from ever running ever again. Uh, even when they have this like weird directory, it looks like this directory will change over time because from it looks like here that this particular folder is labeled with a um, timestamp. In this case, it's 2016-322, which is I think today actually. Yep. Um, so this may change over time. So what we want to do is we want to generalize what the, uh, we want to generalize uh, the the hyperlink or this particular reference to this script. So that regardless of what they uh, reference uh, or where they put the reference to this script um, on their side, uh, it's not going to change our process on our side unless they decide to even change uh, even the root of this particular, uh, of their JavaScript, uh, which is this JS folder here. So enough cycle babble. We're just going to copy this uh, string here for uh, personal reference and just copy it to some... Uh, like a notepad program. And as you can see here, I'm semi, I'm semi spoiling you guys here that um, we're going to add this script here later. Uh, if you guys, oh yeah, um, forgot to mention, if you guys don't have no script, I suggest you install it right now because this is absolutely ne necessarily, this is absolutely necessary for this uh, fix. So what we want to do is right click back on our um, browser here. Go to no script options. We want to look at the advanced tab and at the application boundaries enforcer. This is like a quote unquote firewall, like a pseudo firewall like system that we could specify uh, for a particular site what kind of action that um, the, brow the browser, or in this case, no script, will um, do for this particular site. So for this, um, so for this script, you want to look at the user's rule sets, and you could type anything here. And in order to block um, this particular script from ever running again, I'm going to pop this back up. So we want to block this uh, script, but um, if they ever change the directory of where the script is located, it's going to break um, uh, our script if you decide to use this initial uh, reference. Um, if you, if you use this reference directly, it's not going to work if they d decide to change the directory. So what you want to do is um, ABE uses like a uh, regular expression type system where for this folder, instead of looking at just this particular folder, we're going to replace this whole entire string in that portion with a asterisk. What this tells us is uh, for this site that begins with http.static or slash static.ak blah 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 uh, slash the JS directory slash 
anything that follows after that and wherever the ad blocker underscore message underscore strategy dot js is located you want to deny this request so this is what this script is pretty much doing um, so we want to copy these two lines here again you want to replace this portion here with an asterisk telling you that regardless of where it is as long as it belongs in the js root folder uh, wherever uh, this file we want to block this file and you want to end it with a uh, and another asterisk at the end just because that is the uh, syntax of the ABE system here. So what I'm going to do is write that here in the bottom. So what I'm telling here, again I repeated before, for this site, for this script, we want to deny the request. And we are going to accept. We're going to go back to our browser here, refresh, and if I did it all correctly, um, this, let's see, this script should not run. But from the looks of it, I think, yep, Shockwave will give me a problem here. We're just going to stop this plugin and refresh. And if I did it right, as you can see, that stupid ad blocker message um, is no longer popping up. No longer running that stupid um, video that tells you, oh yeah, you have ad block, we'll remove it, blah, 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 blah. And once again, I could watch this. I can watch my anime in peace. Now, for those who have friends that um, use NoScript and use Crunchyroll, I suggest you share this fix to your friends as soon as possible because this was just, it just, uh, I don't want to say it ruined my life, but it just took a good amount of time for me just to try to find this fix myself and to do all the work. So uh, I decided to do all the work for you guys. So there you go. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, this is Fate. Hope to see you guys later. Hey, see ya.